Hi there everybody, this is Bridget from McHugh's Estate Sales. I'm going to give you a preview today of our upcoming estate sale which starts this Thursday, February 22nd. You can get pictures and details on estatesales.net or you can go to our website which is Richmond Estate Sales with an S dot com. We will be opening at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning with numbers out at 8 a.m. Now, those of you who came to our sale this past December will remember that we sold things that were in our kitchen, breezeway, and two garages because the house was so jam-packed we needed to work to make some space. So we have done that, obviously. Now we are ready for our second and hopefully last sale here. The house is packed. We have refilled the garages. We have refilled the breezeway and the kitchen and things are pretty tight. So make sure when you come, you bring your bags that you need for carrying things. Remember, there's a lot of breakables this time. So you're going to want to be able to carry them and not break what you're going to buy. Now, to start with our preview, I am in what is considered, we're considering the library or the den. We've got all types of things and things are really all over the place. So you're going to have to really take your time and take good looks. We've got everything from antiques to somewhat newer or vintage collectibles, plaster figures. We have wood filing cabinets. We have a desk that is really nice. It's by Heckman, which is H-E-K-M-A-N, and they are out of North Carolina. We have quite a few old ink wells, ink sets, cruet sets. And what you'll notice a lot in this sale is a lot of religious figures and statues. Anything from Mary's to um, St. Patrick to St. Anthony. And here are a lot of the cruet sets. And we also have holy water containers and holy water bottles and jars from the Catholic Church. There's a lot of Catholic items here at this sale. These two sweet antique, they're cutouts. They're almost like you would say a Valentine, but they're quite large and they are antique. They're in antique frames that have been painted white. And you'll notice as we go through here, we still have little piles of things we're still working a lot to do. These are all different things that were used in the Catholic Church during communion. Um, to cover up the host. So we have a big basket of those. We have a nice German clock. Makes a nice sound. A lot of artwork. We have a cool Zenith Hi-Fi stereo in its original case, which is in really good shape. Then we have a nice Maitland Smith tabletop writing desk, which is quite nice. And your 8-track tape player, for those of you who still have your 8-tracks. There I am in the camera. Hi. And then we have a Ridgeway clock. Tureens. All right, so I'm going to move us into the dining room, which isn't quite all the way done, but we're getting there. We have a church kneeler. We have two of those, actually. We have an infant and a prog. And we have quite a few outfits for the infant. Just a little glimpse of some of our artwork. Silver-plated tea set on a nice antique washstand. Nice little lusters. Another set of candelabras. Nice large silver plate punch bowl set, cups and trays. Some more candlesticks and lusters. A basset sideboard, which we also have a matching dining table and china cabinet which I'll show you that in a minute. Nice bow front curved china cabinet full of all kinds of stuff. We have antique canes and a cane holder. And some of these guys, we have figural ones. And we also have some silver. Several of these nice marble pedestal things to put your statues or whatever you'd like to put on them. All right, let's bring you around here and show you the china cabinet. And that's also Basset in there. We have Nora Taki and some antique crystal and glass. And we have a nice little Bombay style chest and then a display cabinet. All right, I'm going to bring you around here. Try not to make anybody too dizzy. 
bring you around into the living room. This is a neat 1950s, 60s um, bar. It opens up, it holds your glasses, has places for your alcohol, places to mix it on the top. Some neat little old chemistry bottles that were there. This piece I love, which is just a big carved wood corbel, probably from a church. Definitely an architectural piece, but it's really neat. We have a set of end tables here that are Merriman. And then we have this nice North Carolina mid-century sofa, which is in really, really good condition. Fabric is really nice and soft, good condition. Um, it's got a great shape with the sofa, so it's really, really quite nice. Nice bronze Art Deco statue. I'm not even going to try and say the name. I can tell you the first name's Pierre. I'm not going to even try the second name. Here we have some antique books. A lot of brass, fireplace things, some more of our artwork, vintage chairs, tables, nice console TV, another kneeler, prayer table, half table with a marble top. Here is one of our display cabinets. And we have another china cabinet slash sort of desk. The front opens up and actually will hold, you know, for you to do your writing and your paperwork. Take you down the hallway now. Got more artwork. It's a very eclectic mix. As you'll see, there are things from that are church, that are antique German bisque. Some books in the closet. There are lots more books in the different garages. Um, and all the books that you will see are all different from the last sale. These were books were never included in the first sale. So this is the hallway that goes back and it is between the two bedrooms. And we have this quite large oil painting, which it has had some repairs and it is marked where it is signed there on the bottom. And I'll show you close up so you can see who it's made by. It's Louis Poupin, P-O-U-P-I-N, and it's 1898. So I'm going to take you into male bedroom right now which has a nice large double queen size tester bed a lot more artwork on the hall on the walls get some vhs more books we've got an ethan allen high boy there and then we have two lane cedar chests one in dark and one in light depending on what your preferences are this is a nice um, mid-century also chest. Very nice clean lines on it. There is a matching dresser, which I'm gonna flip you around again, trying not to make anybody dizzy. Nice chest dresser with a matching mirror. Two more little end tables. We have a pretty good selection of 1970s People magazines. 1970s After Dark magazines, and then we also have some 1970s Playboy and Playgirl magazines for your perusing pleasure. All right, so I'm going to take you out here now. We got a couple more paintings on the wall here. This one is Taking Christ Down from the Cross. It's quite dark, a little bit dirty. So I'm going to take you into female bedroom. Which again, nice poster bed. Which with any of the beds that we sell, you are not required to take any mattresses. You can take them if you choose. If not, you can leave them, but they come free with the frame. Nice set of, or individual pair here of Mary and of Jesus. They're nice old prints there. There's some antique rockers. And nice... This chest and dresser and bed are all made by a company called American Drew, and they are also out of North Carolina. So there's a dresser here, mirrors, artwork. We have a secretary, which closes up nicely. Again, there's one of those little end tables, American Drew, and there's a figural lamp there on top. All right, so now we're going to go for a little bit of walk. We're going to go through the dining room again. 
And we're going to go into the kitchen. And we're going to show you some of the things we have in the kitchen. More kitchen things, more small things. We have lots of frames. One of the things that we have lots and lots of are these Oriental Asian style bases that you would put under your vases. We have a large collection of holy water fonts. And then we have decanters. And a lot of these second shelf ones are those cruets that are for holy water that I mentioned earlier for mass or for the Catholic church. Then there is a big selection of crucifixes. And these all range in age. There's a few here that are a good antique ones and then some that go a little bit more modern, but they're by good makers. So your choice to pick and see. Nice antique light fixture, which is easy to take down because it is not hooked to the wiring. A little bit more kitchen things. On the kitchen wall where the refrigerator would be, we have hung up all the icons, different Russian icons to get them all in one place for you to see. Um, I will suggest that you come and take a look at them and you investigate them yourself for the age um, and see what you, you think of them. Um, there are Toby bugs. All right, I'm gonna take you out into the breezeway and work our way outside. Shelves are back full and the breezeway area is where you're gonna check out when you're done paying. It's also where you're gonna come in through the house. Uh, we don't really have it set up yet. Say hello to Louise. <laughs> There we have a big section of Richmond and Virginia books. Some of our silver is set up. We've got a lot more to come and to put out. We're not going to put that until it gets a little bit closer to the sale for security purposes. And then over here in these binders, which look like photo albums, there is a very large collection of antique postcards. And they are ranging anywhere from weddings to Valentine's to Halloween, you name it. But they are going to be sold by the book. And a lot of those have a lot in there. Some of them have 78, some have 200, some have 100. And we've got them all counted for you and figured out, so they'll be ready to go. All right, so now we're going to work our way out into the attached garage, which is attached to the house. And in this garage, we've got a lot of, not all of, but a lot of the figurines that were all throughout the house. We've tried to kind of put them in one spot. So they would be easy for you to see. And these are American figurines, German figurines, Beam, Minton. Um, you know, you've got Hubach here. There's a lot of different makers. There's even some California pottery. You name it, we've got it. Got everything from Roman soldiers to reproductions of the carving of David, got all these knights here. And then on this wall, we have starting some of our religious figures. Got some nativity, we got Mary, we have Joseph, Blessed Mother. We have, there's another one of our infants of Prague. A couple busts of Jesus with his crown of thorns after the crucifixion. Um, and this one particularly is really nice. He has glass eyes, even has tears. He's just really, really a neat piece. Then we have, we have St. Teresa, we have St. Anthony, St. Michael, St. Patrick, um, St. Anne. I know I'm probably leaving out somebody, but there are other saints. We have Moses. And again, we have these all ranges of ages. We have some that are newer made by some different Italian firms to really nice antique ones, um, some nice Parian figures. A couple have a little boo-boos here and there, but there really are some nice pieces. We have some Hummel, we have Goebel, we have the Flight to Egypt, which is one of my favorites. This really nice Parian here. Back here is a neat old Paris style vase, which has actually got um, Jesus basically with the Sacred Heart painted on the front of it, which is unusual that I haven't seen before. Some more of our various saints, carvings, and religious figures. We have this, which is basically a cross that would be in a church. Um, they would have it on the altar, the 
and that's all brass, which is quite nice. There's some more holy water bits, some things to hold communion, nice art deco bust back there. We have a few different candlestick holders or candle holders that are um, what would be used in a church. So they're a little bit oversized. And one of the things I wanted to show you real quick too is under the tables in this garage are books. Books, books, books. Um, on the other side, we've got books, books, books. And down at the end, we have some albums. So there are records here for those of you who are music enthusiasts. Again, here's another church set. We have this nice big embroidered screen, quite old. Um, does have a little bit of a boo-boo, but it's really a nice antique piece. Along the wall here in the garage are lots of bookshelves. One thing we have lots and lots of here in the house are bookshelves. With this many books, you have to have some place to put them. Again, another set of church candle holders. And we've got Wedgwood, we have Capodimani, older Capodimani, Nippon, Noritake, Limoges, Pretty much, I think, if you name it, we're going to have it. Nice stack plates. Antique bowls, RS pressure type, German, Austrian. All right, so... Again, we have loads of figurines, and you see why I said about bringing your packing material, that you are going to need it. We've got some here, but certainly not enough for all of these here. Little nativity figures. All right, so now we're going to take a little bit of a walk back to the back garage. You can see it back there. We also have some concrete figures. Um, we have St. Francis. We have some other things. We've got some nice outdoor metal patio furniture. Um, some of these things that are here in the garage, we're going to pull them out when it gets sale day so that you can get in here and move around a little bit. But, again, garage is full. Little end tables, side tables, bookshelves, book holders, book ends. Neat scale. And, again, we'll pull these out so you guys can get to them a little bit better. The middle of this garage, these boxes are filled with dollar bins. These are all little... Oh gosh, you name it. Little bears, little cars, little little knickknacks and things. But there are good things in there too. Some vintage things. So you're just going to have to dig and take a look. Certainly deals to be had. Over on the other side there, we have books, 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 books. They are on top of the table and they are under the table. And they are under the tables here in the middle. Some redwood furniture. Again, different things on the tables. So DVDs, CDs. There's furniture mixed in through here. Yeah, so here's just a sample of just one of the dollar bins. Book boxes. So the books range anywhere. You know, there's a lot of nonfiction, a lot of different things from museums, um, history on, oh goodness, the Kennedys. You know, different royal families, King Tut, Michelangelo, you name it. A lot of art books mixed in. So you're just going to have to take a look. It's going to take you a while if you're a book person. But there's lots of things to be found. Alrighty there. So there's your tour of McHugh's Estate Sale, which is starting this Thursday, which is February 22nd. At 9 a.m., numbers will be out at promptly 8 a.m. Each person has to have a number to get in. First 35 will get in. After that, we will let people in as the need comes up. And again, if you want information on the sale, you can go to richmondestatesales.com or you can look on estatesales.net under McHugh's. And you can come and follow us and see some more pictures on our Facebook page under McHugh's Dolls, Toys, and Estates. So, 
that's what we got for you and we hope to see you Thursday Thursday is full price Friday is 10% off Saturday is 20% off Sunday is 50% off and there will be numbers out again at 8 and then Sunday or excuse me Monday which we don't normally do will be a 75% off day and that day will be 9 to 1 where our hours on the other days will be 9 to 3 so hope to see you guys soon thanks